That was, that was gonna be one of those kind of cool tea intros that I do, except I messed it up, so sorry. Last week I got my wisdom teeth out. Totally messed my sleep schedule up, didn't check emails for a week, didn't do anything for a week, and so today it's time to get things back on track, to kind of pull my life together, and so I figured I'd take you along with me. The process for doing this actually started last night, and what I mean by that is twofold. So one, um, I got a good night of sleep. I went to bed early for the first time in a while, went to bed at 10. 1030 um, but I also made a list of things to do so here's a little list that I made just in a pretty standard a5 notebook um, you know clean my room empty my inbox work out meditate read write a script plan tomorrow restrict my phone use all day but especially in the morning in the evening just a five ten minute brain dump of all the things that I need to get done in order for this to be a you know successful day in order for me to pull things together if you will um, so now I'm gonna turn that that list into a plan so if you've been following the channel for a minute you'll recognize this this is my growth book it's my daily planner it's what I write out my schedules when I'm having an organized day which is not every day believe me but when I'm having an organized day like today uh, I'll write out my schedule in this as well as goals to do you know motivation for the day and then at the end of the day I do a happiness reflection and so that's all kind of uh, you know mirrored in the setup of how it works very simple um, and so today I'm gonna walk you through kind of how I turn a to-do list, like the one that I created last night, into an actual plan for a day. And then we're gonna go through executing on that plan. So the first thing that I usually do is I set up a schedule. So I'll do this the night before in most cases, but today because we're doing this on camera, I figured I'll do it right now. 7.30, wake up today. Eight o'clock, uh, breakfast, and read. Currently reading uh, John Stuart Mill on Liberty. And then at nine, which is right now, uh, started to film. Now we're caught up, so now we need to plan the rest of the day. I think the first thing that I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna clean, I think, once you have your environment set up, it's a lot easier for you to execute on everything else. And my room is a bit of a mess and I just feel like I need to clean it. 10, I think it's time to, to hit the next thing on the bucket list, which is gonna be emails. And that's gonna take a while. I have a fair number of emails that demand responses. We're looking at probably an hour for that. It's a good moment to do some like, just to chill out for a second. So I'm gonna do some meditation. And the reason that I wanna do that is because I think, uh, first of all, it like calms me down as someone who has you know, some level of anxiety, although not severe for the most part, I'll free wire my brain. So it's a good thing for me to do in just for my mental health, but also uh, before I do any creative work, like writing a script, it just kind of helps me to clear my mind. And also after that, we'll do some reading and we'll take that into uh, lunch at 11.30. So if we're looking at our initial list, right? Uh, so we've got clean, taking care of, empty email, taking care of, uh, meditate, taking care of, reading, taking care of throughout the day. That's kind of like a filler. Um, so we've got workout, write a script, plan the next day, and restrict phone use. So at this stage, I think we hit 12 and we go straight into creative work, um, which is going to be script writing in this case. Planning on working out today with people at uh, 5.30. Uh, I've got, you know, five and a half hours of solid uh, focus creative work here. So um, I probably won't write a script for that entire time, but I write, might write multiple. Uh, I might work on some other creative projects that I have kind of in the works, um, but this is gonna be kind of my, my focused work time. There'll be a snack around three or four probably before I go work out, uh, which is the next thing, which is uh, gonna be at 5.30. I'll likely get back around 8, 8.30. We'll say 8.30 to be safe. Uh, and we'll have some dinner then. At nine, I'm gonna read. And so now what's left is to translate the other things that were on our on our list into uh, both goals and uh, to-do elements. Now, when I talk about restricting phone use, um, I don't mean not going on my phone at all. Uh, although I do mean that in the hour after I wake up in the hour before I go to bed, um, but rather being intentional with when I go on my phone and for what purpose. Another one of the goals that I was setting up uh, was to plan tomorrow, 
when people ask if I, you know, plan my days every day. No, okay, if I'm, you know, working or if I'm in school, I'll plan every work day or every school day and then some weekend days, but I'll always try and allow room for rest because I think if you don't, then you burn out. And I've experienced that before and it's just not fun. So I wanna read 50 pages total and that'll be done uh, throughout the day in the various scheduled portions. And then a final goal for the day is, is, I mean, this video, what you guys are watching. The difference between to-do and goals is relatively subtle, but it's kind of just like tasks that need to get done versus things that I want to put into practice. So in terms of tasks that I need to get done today, right? Well, one is uh, inbox zero, as they call it. I'm very bad with emails. And then write a script. The only section left in this plan uh, is motivation and you know typically what I'll write down and this is just like a little a little thought or a little blurb There's a speech on YouTube that I was listening to and I was like, yeah I'm gonna like pull myself together. I don't know if you guys ever do that listen to like inspiring speeches But this one was Schwarzenegger, but he said something and he took it from someone else But I don't remember who he took it from so apologies, but it's um, Work hard and advertise online especially on you know YouTube, it's very easy to forget about the first part and to focus on the second part. That is, you know, if you only advertise, you can maybe get the same benefits as someone who works hard and advertise, at least when it comes to external benefits, right? Followers, fame, fortune, money, whatever. But that's not really the focus that I wanna have, right? I wanna work on, you know, internal. I wanna work on myself. I wanna like become a better person, a more mature. I think that's where the work hard portion comes in because when I am working hard, I am far happier. You know, when I have a project that challenges me, that pushes me, when I share that with people, it's fun to get feedback and to get that attention, of course, um, but the focus is always on the first part. And so just to keep that in mind, um, cause it's tough when you're trying to document things, you know, online, um, it's, it's easy to get sucked into that. That's a plan in the growth book. As you can see, wow. Embossed cover available on Amazon. That's my final shameless plug for this. Okay. Time to get to it. Okay. Time to clean. Ready? Three, two, one. Clean. So it is now time to answer a bunch of emails. I have 173 unread emails. There are a lot of business emails, some of which I've been deferring answering, so. All right, so one hour, 15 minutes later, done. I absolutely detest emails, but inbox zero, finally replied to a bunch of emails that I've been putting off replying. Not that I've really been putting it off, right? I've had my wisdom teeth out, like I didn't need to reply to emails last week, but for some reason, like writing and replying to emails always stresses me out like a fair bit. I'm not sure if I'm the only one like this, but like it just, I have this weird dread of replying to emails, even if it's, you know, even if I haven't been putting it off for a while, nevertheless, gotta do it, got it done. Um, so now I'm gonna meditate for a bit. All right, so we're now in my backyard. I know, very zen, um, but it's a beautiful day outside. So I figured why not come out here do a little bit of meditation. Um, again, I don't do this every day. There was a time when I tried to force it to go every day, but and then I'm gonna read for a bit and then make some lunch. Meditated, things are going well. Uh, haven't done any real work today though, other than reply to emails. So I'm excited to do some work, some creative work. Lunch for tomorrow, lunch for today. Meditate and read, done. Lunch, done. So now we're on to script writing and uh, focused work. That's what FW means. <laughs> Got a few videos kind of in the works right now. Um, so I've got a few scripts that I could potentially write. On top of that though, I've got a coding project I'm working on right now, so I might do some work on that. I use the Pomodoro method, so I'm gonna do that 25 minutes on, five minutes off. I highly recommend it, because um, your 25 minutes are actually really efficient when you know that you have five minutes coming up pretty soon. So that's what I'm gonna do. Not really sure what I'm gonna film, uh, but you know, I might just skip ahead four hours. Who knows? All right, one script down. It is uh, 2.07, so it's spent about an hour on that one, but it is a pretty easy one because I knew what I was gonna say. Gonna keep writing. Got, uh, you know, three more hours of work. So I decided that I was gonna code. So I've been coding for a little bit now, actually making really good progress. This is for a video that's gonna be coming out in. I made a plan for videos too. It's a productive day, this is great. Um, so this one will be coming out in August, but it's pretty much done, so I might I might do it sooner than that. Nevertheless, it's about 3.30 right now, um, meaning I've got about two hours before I'm gonna go work out. So I'm gonna grab a snack right now and take a little break, do some reading maybe, I don't know, just chill out. Um, and then get back to this, because I think I can finish it up today. Um, 
So yeah, let's go eat some food though. Yeah, hello. It's me. And that's enough fun for one day. Back to work. <laughs> On that grind all the time. On that grind. Um, no, but seriously, I'm gonna finish up this coding project, hopefully. Um, don't have a lot left to do. It's just tedious work at this point, but I've got to get it done because there's a process with this project after coding. So I'm going to try and get that done. Uh, and then we'll go work out, hang out with friends, read more, go to bed, 32 pages out of 50 now. So otherwise, same old, same old. Okay, it's 5.25 now, just wrapped up uh, the coding project I was working on actually. I think it's done minus a few little tweaks and then the project goes beyond, um, well, it's uploading right now, but the project goes beyond uh, just coding. So we're done the first phase, now I gotta do the second phase and then hopefully there's gonna be a video up about the project relatively soon. So it's a lot of fun, but I'm gonna go, uh, go work out with some friends right now. So I can't take you with me, unfortunately, because I'm not allowed to talk about that on this channel due to reasons outside of my control. So I'm gonna go do that and I'm gonna be back in a few hours, probably around 8, 8.30. So I will see you then. All right, if you can't tell, I finished my workout. A little bit of a hot one out there today. Um, but I'm back home now, so I'm gonna grab some food and then it's actually coming up on nine o'clock now. So I'm gonna turn my phone off, turn my camera off and the vlog here, the video vlog. I don't know what this is. It was a good day and I hope you got something out of the video, out of, out of today's video. My intention for this was kind of just to show you kind of coming back from disorder, um, which is something that, you know, I do relatively often. I think a lot of people have this conception that people can live, I'm sorry, I'm so sweaty by the way, but that people can kind of live these super ordered lives all the time and that if any disorder happens, it's, you know, a, a big deal. Um, but it's not really. And coming back from disorder is as simple as being, you know, organized and having some structure. So hopefully you got something out of the way that I was able to structure today. Uh, for me, it was a great day. Uh, and I'm excited to just, you know, keep that momentum building tomorrow. So anyways, this is a little bit long winded. You probably don't want to look at this face anymore. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to subscribe if you did, and I'll see you shortly.